test are you like? The TV personality test, where you get to find out how your character measures up to the country's finest stars. Over the course of the show, I'll ask ten searching questions, all of which are illustrated by some tantalising TV tidbits. Each show is themed around one human characteristic. Today, how reliable are you? And why not play along at home? Just keep a mental note of your answers to today's questions. On the show today, team captain Simon O'Brien and is joined by Coronation Street favourite Wendy Peters. <laughs> and on Anna Jones' team today is TV presenter and domestic goddess Anthea Turner. <laughs> Round one now, and our teams have to try to guess how reliable the nation's favourite celebrities really are. It's our stars on screen. Dame Kelly Holmes, John McCrerick, Roland Riveron, Yorkshire's Dickie Bird, presenter Matt Baker, Carol Malone, broadcaster Henry Kelly, Vanessa Feltz, comedian Barry Cryer, and Brian Blessed. What a fantastic sight they are. There's a point on offer for each question. Simon's team. You're up first. And to illustrate your question, here's some good life gold as Margot and Jerry show what reliable neighbours they really are. Good girl, that's a good girl. Six. <laughs> Six so far, Margot. Congratulations. Don't you ever tell me to shut up again, Jerry. Well, I haven't got X-ray eyes, have I? I can't see through a door. Hold the light still. And I will thank you not to go out in the middle of the night and leave the front door open. Anything could have happened. Yes, you could have got up and shut it. <laughs> and found myself struggling with some lecherous minicab driver. Look, look, you'll be struggling with me if you don't shut up. The main event is going on in here. Look, there's another one on the way. Oh, come and look, Margot, quick. It's beautiful. Certainly not. That sort of thing makes me faint. Well, don't faint in here, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, yes, go on, go on. Seven. seven. Look, surely seven is enough. <laughs> <laughs> You have a friend who is in need of help. Would they A, call you immediately? You're always a reliable first port of call. B, call you after phoning around other friends first. C, mention conversation that they had a spot of bother last week. Mm. Well, I'd hope my friends would pick up the phone and call me first. All right, well, to earn your points, you have to tell me what our stars on screen would do. You'll see three stars give an answer, and you must predict the answer of the fourth. So when it comes to a friend in need, are the stars reliable friends indeed? I'd hope all my friends would know just to call me no matter what, so I'd go for A. I hope. Self-praise is no recommendation. I'm a friend you can rely on, so I'd go for A. I'd like to think that they would call me first and talk to me, so it would be option A. So what would comedian Roland Riveron say? But I think he's an honest chap, I Roland. Think, yeah, I think family, kids, you know... So he's got enough on his plate already, you mean? <laughs> yes, I don't want to call him me. I think it's going to be A. I think it's going to be C. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're absolutely in accordance here. B. B. Well, everyone has said A so far, but let's see if Roland says something else. I'd like to think people call me first, you know, a firm pair of shoulders here to lean on. But you know what? I don't think they do. So it's going to have to be B. Oh. <laughs> Aled and Anthea, your first question is coming up. Oh. Take a look at this clip of a tearful Andy Peters at his live and kicking leaving bash from 1996. <laughs> Best have your hankies at the ready. Or a bucket. I just want to say thank you to everyone. I can't do it. No, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. you. But thanks Jake to everybody, the production you. team, Jake the crew, you. and whoever gets my job, you've got the best job in the world because you're working for and her, you? which is just no, you're the fantastic. Best. And you're Scotland. And I'll see you in September. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, it's like the Oscars. I'd like to thank my mother. <laughs> anyway, you've been asked yeah. to organise a colleague's leaving party. Right. Do you, A, embrace the opportunity and do a good job? B, agree, so long as somebody's willing to help you implement the plans. C, duck out politely as you think you'd mess everything up. I'd definitely, I'd embrace yeah, it, I'd enjoy it. Oh, it would be fantastic. What, what an honour to do You'd be singing at it, Alan? No. <laughs> it would be a good party, then. <laughs> oh. Anyway, what would our stars do if given the job of organising a leaving do? If I'd been asked to organise a party, I'd have to make sure it was, like, really, really good. So I would go for A and make it a special night. 
Well, I'd really go for it. I'd, I'd really want to help as much as possible. I'd be dedicated to that friend positively. So I choose A. I would probably make uh, a mess of it all because I'm not a good organiser in anything. So I go for C, I think. <laughs> Now you see, I'm with Dickie there, but what would Vanessa Felt say? That's she'd go for it. She'd organise it. Yeah, I reckon she'd, she'd organise it. And well. it would be a fantastic party. No question? A? Yeah. Eh? Yep. No question whatsoever. Okay, let's have a look. I love organising parties. In the last year, I've just had a big engagement party for myself and my fiancé, and a lovely party, joint 18th and 21st, for my daughters. So I consider myself something of a terrific party organiser. The answer is A. I'd do it myself, and I'd love it. You can breathe for that answer. Do you watch it? Yes. She likes her parties. That's one she point does. to you. OK, Wendy, it's your question next. Have a look at this prophetic clip from 1983 telling us about Betamax, the video of the future. Not one of Nostradamus's better predictions. <laughs> In only five years, we've become the video addicts of the world, watching more recorded material than any other nation. One in five homes have a video machine, and that figure could rise by Christmas to one household in four. The beta movie camera is a wonderful toy, but whether enough people are yet into the home movie market for it to stimulate interest in the Betamax system is uncertain. And the battle for which system we use will perhaps be irrelevant, as ever newer developments tempt us. <laughs> A friend lends you a DVD to watch, <laughs> oh, yeah. but asks that you return it to the rental shop once you've seen it. Do you A, watch the movie and nip it back to the shop the same night just to be sure? B, drop it back the following evening just in time to avoid a fine. Mm, that's probably what I'd do. C, watch it, forget to take it back mm. and find it under your sofa six weeks later. Actually, that is what I'd do, but then I would pay the fine. <laughs> Let's see how reliable our stars on screen are when it comes to returning their DVDs. <laughs> 